to the most high in the sun um, and of course to the, 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 the double honors to the elders that teach and rule well and of course the other occupants out there preaching like I was letting this brother know when we are here uh -huh. you know what I mean I'm trying to get him into the truth man but like I said time is short man America's about to fall man the beast NATO Greece is finished and the economy almost damn near crashed this week, man. That was just a trial run. So what time period are we living in? We're in a time period of the end. The Heavenly Father's flooding the earth with prophecy right now, man. You got homosexuality as an all-time high. So that shows you that we're living in the latter end, man. Because wickedness has increased. Make sure the camera is playing. Wickedness has increased, man. That's why it's time for our people to wake up out of sleep. Because the time is too short. Alright, the days is coming where myself and other brothers and the elders, we won't be able to come out here and teach no more, man. Because martial law gonna happen. What you think gonna happen when the uh, the economy fall, when the dollar drop? Dropped already. You know what I mean? Like the brother says, dropping already. It's gonna be chaos out here. It's gonna be anarchy. And this week is Jade Elm 15 week, where the government is doing military drills. Say something for the last week in Ramadan. It's the last week in Ramadan. Ramadan? It's the last week. The most I ain't dealing with that, brother. Why? You better come back to that Israelite fasting. heritage. Fasting. I'm talking about fasting. Well, fasting is in the scriptures, and it's for um, it's the a last whole week day. Fasting. A whole day. Like, I don't know. I, I think when they fast... Give them a time, a date check. I think... um. Well, I celebrate my fast later on, later on in the year, Day of Atonement. But the Day of Atonement is um, 24 hours eating, no drinking. Of course, you brush. Of course, of course, you still, uh, you know, brush your teeth and wash up. But you don't, you don't eat or drink anything for 24 hours cold. I was afraid to take a shower and water touch my tongue and break my fast. Nah, nah, Christ. Well, the Son of Man broke that down. Let me, let me bring that out before I go into prophecy. You eat there 40 days, 40 nights, no bread, no water. No bread, no water. Moses did it. Uh, Esau did it. Uh, Daniel did 21. And when you fast, that's how the Heavenly Father deals with you. See what I'm saying? Because your body, instead of um, breaking down food, you can, I mean, because your body's always breaking down food. But if you have any ailments, it'll use that energy to, to, to heal that. See what I'm saying? And that's any how you open up. Is any. Yeah. And that's how you open up your mind to prophecy. Like any time a prophet wanted to receive In a the Quran, Allah says, fast to gain lordship over your senses. Yeah. And you know, that's a good thing too, brother, because, and that, that goes for me too. I got to do more fasting too. I mean, I shouldn't just wait to the high holy day. Technically, we should be fasting a lot more often, man, because shit going to get so bad out here. You're going to have, your faith going to have to be at an all-time high. That includes me, that includes any brother, man. All right, we in the time where you gotta fast a lot, man. I'm gonna bring out two scriptures on fasting. What book? Matthew chapter six, verse. There we go, sixteen. This one in the world called Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai. He said, "Moreover, when he fasts, be not as the hypocrites of a sad countenance." For they disfigure their faces that they may appear unto men to fast. So the Lord said, when you fast, don't have a sad face like, oh, uh, oh. Uh. Brother, like, what's wrong with you, you today, brother? Wash your face and, and yeah. smile. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what he wash said. Wash your face and smile. He like, you know what I'm saying? My like, brother actually, what's, what's up with you today? Oh, brother, I'm fasting today. Now, nah, the Lord said, don't do that, man. We keep reading. It says, Verily I say unto you that they have their reward. Which is what? The praise of men. Okay? Yeah, brother. We, you know, we don't got time for that, man. They had this word, man. Now, go ahead. No, don't stop for the cam camera. He said, but stop. thou, when thou fastest, anoint thy head and wash oil. thy face. Yeah. Like you said. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, you wash it, up, it you're said to be a normal. Don't, don't show off in the, all like this. Uh, 
Yeah. Well, what's up, bro? Yeah. Oh, fasting. Yeah. <laughs> nah, the Lord said don't do that. That's being a hypocrite, man. Fast. It says, um, verse 18, that thou to appear unto men to fast, but unto thy father which is in secret, and thy father which see it in secret shall reward thee openly. So meaning like even when you fast, you don't even got to tell nobody. Somebody give you, offer you food, be like, nah, I'm good today. What's up? Nah, you know, I'm just not feeling that right now. But you know that you fasted. You know what I mean? say you fasted. Don't say you ain't feeling good I'm fasting. Now, you, like the Lord said, you don't got to tell nobody. Just keep it a secret. You know what I mean? He said, if you keep it a secret, the Heavenly Father will, will reward you openly. But when you're telling everybody, he's not. Because that means you're not sincere. Matthew chapter 17, verse 21. This is another good precept on fasting. Matthew 17, 21. Uh, you saw from 14. And when they come to the multitude, they came to him, a certain man, kneeling down to him and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is a lunatic and sore vexed, for oft times he falleth into the fire and oft into the water. So there was a dude who had a son who had a dumb spirit on him, man. So they asked the Lord to heal him. And I brought him to thy disciples, and they could not cure him. And Jesus, or Yahweh Shai, answered and said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. And one thing that annoyed the wonder world called Jesus Christ and Yahweh Shai the most was people lack of faith. Okay? Which is faith is the belief in a possibility. That's why he always asked people before he healed them, do you believe that I can do this? Okay, if you don't have faith, the Most High ain't dealing with you, man. The Heavenly Father's not dealing with a faithless person, man. Okay, and that goes for all of us, man. Our faith got to be at an all-time high, because America... This is probably, man. Let me say this in fact. Let me ask you a question. In Arabic, the main language in Africa, Arabic, one of the main languages in Africa. It's Arabic, probably the, literally the main language in Africa. It's Arabic. Right. How do you say God in Arabic? It will be Allah. That's what I'm saying. Well, yeah, but I said the Hebrew. But what I try to tell you How do you say time, God in Hebrew? But hold on, let me say this. Let me finish your scripture and then I'll, I'll answer that right away. It says, um, and Jesus rebuked the devil, and he re re departed out of him, and the child was cured from that hour. Then came the disciples to Yahweh Shai apart and said, Why could we not cast him out? And Yahweh Shai said unto him, Because of your unbelief. For verily I say unto you, If he have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, he shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. But this is the point. He said, How be it this kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting? So he said, Some demons you can only get rid of by praying and fasting. Some demons are so strong, the only way really to get you rid of getting away with it is the Lord getting away with it yeah, for you. Yeah, you, but you gotta you gotta connect with him on a deeper level. You gotta Move fast. Praying and fasting. Because fast means to afflict your soul. But fast means to not nothing. No, that's fast what it means, means though. nothing. Because you, you're afflicting No, yourself. fast means nothing. That's what it means, you know what I mean? I can look it up for you. But, um, fast means nothing. Nothing. Fast means nothing. So, that's so, so, Really? Endure to nothing. I'll look it up for you real quick. Eat huh? nothing. No, no, no. Israelite. 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 <laughs> That's you know, my you brother. Know, you, you, you know, he tries to preach the Lord, so I, I come and talk to my brother. He do something good. You know, he preach Allah. He preach God. Preach, if he call him Allah, no, he still talk to God. The most high. The most Al Ali. Al Ali. That's the, one of all the ninety nine names for the Most High. In the Arabic, is Al Ali. Islam. Anyway, like I was saying, you said about Arabic, right? 
Arabic. The reason why them Africans speak Arabic is because them Arabs colonized them. Because them Africans wasn't following no goddamn Arab Arabic in the uh, 12, I mean like the early, uh, uh, like the early 5th, 7th, 8th, 9th century. After Ahmed Rasulullah, if anything. Nah, because after Islam came out of Arabia, after Muhammad was set up, you had different um, caliphs that started colonizing people from Islam. All following Allah. Nah, like I said to you before. Ahmed was following Allah. Yeah, okay, okay, Allah. But I'm saying to you is, the word God is not his name. It's just a title. You see what I'm saying? The translations like that. You know what I mean? Like, the Heavenly Fathers, that's not his name. That's just a title we give him. The Most High. It's not his name. That's not his name. That's just a title. All it is his name. But what I'm saying, what is his name? Allah. Nah, because when he came to Moses, he said, Moses said, who should I say sent me? No, Mo, he said, verily, I am Allah. Nah, I am God of the, the Lord of the worlds, Allah. Let me, let me prove it to you. Prove it to you, brother. It's not, because you're reading English version. And uh, we spoke about that already. Yeah, but like you're I said, there's English. But there's English Quran. All right, but it still says Allah. Huh? There's English Quran. But that know? doesn't say Allah. Nah, you, nah, because Allah is not his name. I'm going to read for you. Exodus chapter 3. What's, his, what's the Lord's name? We're going to read it now. Let's go. Exodus chapter 3, verse 11. It says, um, And Moses said unto the Most High, Who am I that I should go unto Pharaoh, that I shall bring forth the children of Israel out of Egypt? What's going on? What's going on? Now you see we, we're closer to the end now, right? Yes, but do you know something? Mm -hmm. As a brother in Christ, I'm still coming to give you encouragement. All right. Well, you're strong in Christ when you encourage one another. How are you, man? I'm Paul. God bless you. I stayed and talked to this dude for a half an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were building for like half an hour. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, but that thing you told me with the microchip, the microchip, and they already used it. We knew that. I knew that shit for 10 years ago. I know that about that for like 10 years now. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure it ain't something new in 10 years. You know, this military but, drill week, right? Yeah, no, but you know another thing I think with America, what you were talking about, how America's going to continue to burn? You know, with all of this fracking they're doing? Right. And now the water, you can you can catch the water on fire? Yeah, they're destroying the earth. They're destroying the earth, but actually, you stop and think, if methane gas is coming up through, through drills and water stuff, that could be one of the reasons why the America's just going to not stop burning. Right, right, right. But I want to let you know that I was listening to you, and I applied it. But most of all, I'm spending a lot more time in Scripture. Got to do that, bro. bro. Got to do that. So how you been? I've been all right. Been all right. Not feeling too good today, but I still came out, man. I got to go with my friend because yeah, yeah, yeah. we just finished the semester at Fordham. Right, right, right. And I don't want to keep him waiting, but I also no want to give you some encouragement. Yeah, appreciate yeah. that. Appreciate what's, the, what's the name of your church again? Well, we, we, what's the name of the movement? Well, we're here to be the Hebrew Israelites. That the black, Hispanics, and Native Indians, Native Indians are the Israelites. Okay. Of the I remember that. I just forgot what like the short name was. The, oh, okay. The Native Israelites. Yeah, the Hebrew Israelites. Hebrew Israelites. Because I got the video of you three talking. Because he was just a regular Christian, right? Yeah. Is that what he was saying? So, yeah. and were you saying you're a Muslim? So I was like, what's more New York than seeing like a yeah. Christian, a Muslim, and they? Uh, and then I couldn't remember like the short term of your. Yeah, uh, Hebrew Israelite. Yeah, yeah. That's that's what we preach. Oh. I mean, we preach that we in the end time. Try to teach the law, statutes, and commandments. It's gonna be race rights, martial law, RFID chip, which um, World War Three. Do you guys get it just based on the Bible, or do you have other writings that you that you call out, like you draw from? Well, we we go based on the scripture. That's scripture what I mean. is the main book, yeah. So, but do you but, have other writings that you kind of draw from too? Well, any any book that supports this, absolutely. Um, Except for the Quran. Except because you're not Quran. using the Quran, right? Absolutely not. The well, Quran. We, is, I use the Quran. The Quran is, is a carbon copy of the You guys draw from the Bible too a little bit, right? No. The first part. You have to. You have we to. draw from the Quran. Nah. No, but I thought because even the no. Quran, I said we draw from the Quran. Everybody knows the Quran is based off the Bible. Everybody knows that. No. Uh, and I'm just going by what I learned a little no, bit. No, 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 no. Well, look, look, look. You have different scriptures. The Bible is put together from the Torah. Right. To the New Testament. Right. And there's a couple extra books in there. Right. Mm -hmm. It's the Bible. The Quran is purely straight from the last scriptures. The last from Ahmed Rasulullah, 1496 years ago. Bro, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. 
revelation. Is Isaiah in the Bible? Isaiah. Is he in the Quran? I could go. Is Jeremiah in the Quran? Is Moses in the Quran? Yes. Is Jesus in the Quran? Yes. Where did he get that from? Don't say they get it from the Bible. Jesus bro. was here before the Bible. So, bro, bro. Well, I'm saying, though, what book did they get that from? The scriptures. They, yeah, but the do Bible you read is just the record. The Bible is. Fuck the Bible. You fuck it. No, no, no. Listen to what I'm saying, though. Listen to my follow up, though. So forgive my cursing for those who's on the camera or whatever. Whatever. Forgive my cursing. Allah, this is what Allah says in the Quran. And we gave Musa, Musa, which is Moses, the Torah. And we gave Davud, which is David, the Psalms, the Zabor. In Arabic, it's called the Zabor. In English, it translates to the song. And we gave Isa, please be upon Jesus. Jesus, Isa, Isa is Jesus. In Arabic, Isa, I say. Is, is Jesus and Allah says and we gave Jesus the gospel some translations goes to the angel some translation says the evangel and we gave Esau the gospel and strengthened him with the Holy Spirit now how do you guys at the end of the day wait, wait, one, more, one, more, one, more, one more one more one more and then it says and we gave Ahmed Rasulullah which is Prophet Muhammad the Guru that's what Allah says. So it's right. kind of like the same source, but different revelations. And then you're saying yours is the last one. No, 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 no. Let me cut this guy quick, quick, quick. Right. Well, this is what I was going to But at the end, have you guys ever talked before? Have you ever debated? Yeah, yeah I know many before. times. So many how, times. how do you guys, at the end of the day, able to go your separate ways and still like live in peace? Because, and because of God. Yeah. Right? Okay. The main focus of the law. I'm not gonna fight him like ah. What do you mean you don't believe him? Nah, nah. Yeah, he's fighting back. Did you guys even you sit down and have a cup of coffee together? Can you guys even do nah, that? Nah, we can do that. But yeah. so we can't even debate. We, we, we won't. We won't preach we're, together because it's a difference in doctrine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You won't like have the same words. Right. We, we'll right. have a debate. We'll have an honest debate. Yeah. Not an argument yeah, debate. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna try to fight him. Debate. No. No matter how strong yeah. he feels yeah. on his, and it wasn't the same way. At the end of the day, you guys might not agree. Right. We don't agree. Whether we agree or not, you have to agree with what you believe. Even if we both agree, we both could be wrong. You're gonna agree with something. Just because I know, I know, I have the truth. All right, that I'm, I'm gonna leave. My wife's getting annoyed. Sorry, God, sorry, sorry, no problem. Yeah. God bless you. But like yeah, I was I'm telling, telling, telling the uh, matter of fact, Exodus, this scripture gonna answer you that the Most High ain't dealing with Ishmael. That's the whole point. Why he's not dealing with Ishmael? Because Ishmael was rejected, bro. You know the story. No, let, me read, let me read it for you. He's going to prove right now. Exodus chapter 3, verse 13, 12. And he said, Certainly I will be with thee, and this shall be a token unto thee. This is the most high speaking of Moses. And I brought thee when thou hast brought I'm talking about people. Abraham. I'm read it. I'm Not read Moses. He's going to read it. Listen. Who was here first, Abraham or Moses? Brother, I'm going to read it. He's going to go into it. Abraham going to be mentioned. Of Egypt, he shall serve the Most High upon this mountain. And Moses said unto, unto God, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, The God of your fathers hath sent me unto you, they shall say to me, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? And the Most High said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, So now, what is I am that I am in Hebrew? Meaning that the only thing that exists. That's what, but what does that mean in Hebrew? That's his name. I'm everything. That's I'm not his name. No. <laughs> it's just what he said. I'm going to read God it again. going to say, I am. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm everything. God. I Lord, exist within is, everything. Lord's going to say, I am. So, I am. That's what a powerful Lord name. give you that. That's the omnipotent. That's because he's omnipotent. He's everything. That's what only the Lord could say that. You see what I'm saying? I'm but he still said, listening. Go ahead. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am have sent me unto you. And the Most High said unto, and the Most High said, Moreover unto Moses, Thou shalt say unto the children of Israel, Listen carefully, The God of your fathers, The God of Abraham, Isaac, The God of Isaac, Not Ishmael. He's not going to say that, But Isaac, Okay, Isaac, Jacob. Jacob and the God of Jacob have, have Jacob have sent me unto you. Muhammad was an Ishmaelite, an Arab. 
Got he it. wasn't here yet. He but wasn't here yet. Ishmael was on the scene. But Muhammad wasn't there yet. Yeah, but I'm, time I'm, I'm, I'm telling Abraham. you though. Remember, Abraham had eight sons. He had six of the Torah. Who was the first son of Abraham? Ishmael. Okay, so why? Why was it Abraham? Ishmael? Because the Most High said, "I'm Who not." Who was he sacrificed for? For Isaac. Oh, that's you want to prove it? That's not a fact. You want me to prove it? That's not a fact. Okay, that's I'm going to prove it. The sacrifice was for Isaac. No, the sacrifice was for Ishmael. Well, Genesis chapter 17, verse 21. Let's read. Let's go back to the beginning. The Quran has my facts too. I just don't have my Quran on. It's on my phone. But my Genesis on. chapter 17. I'm going to start. I'm going to start. Since you like them Arabs so much, I'm going to start it's with Ishmael. It's not that. It's just, no, no. Let, start. Me, let me read verse 20. Genesis 17 and 20. This is the most I speaking. And as for Ishmael, I have heard thee. Behold, I have blessed him. I will make him fruitful. I will multiply him exceedingly. Twelve princes shall he beget, and I will make him a great nation. Read that again. Read it again for you. And as for Ishmael, I have heard thee. Behold, I have blessed him, and I will make him fruitful, and will multiply him exceedingly. Twelve princes shall he beget, and I will make him a great nation. Stop right there. Why? Why does that come? It doesn't. You didn't listen to the full thing. I'm going to get the next I'll verse. The sentence. He's verse 21. Listen. But my covenant, my He's agreement, will I establish with Isaac. God only blessed Ishmael because he no, was Abraham's fine. son. Body that was for something else, but Ishmael still got a Brother, blessing man, out of he, that. He got a blessing, but not the main blessing, the covenant. It's so fine, Ishmael. We're not saying Ishmael is the number one. We're not even saying Ibrahim is the number one, but Ishmael helped Ibrahim build the Kaaba. Brother, do you know. agree, yes or no, that Ibrahim built the Kaaba? Yes or no? Find me that scripture. Where did Ibrahim the build the Kaaba? It's in the Quran. Brother, you crazy as hell, bro. Ishmael, I mean, Ibrahim built the Kaaba in with Ishmael in the um. I'm going to get the law on that. There's a law yeah. on that. Leviticus 26 1. This is God speaking to Moses. He shall make you no idols for graven image. You gotta read all the books. Neither wear you up a standing image. Neither shall he set up any image of stone in your land to bow down unto it, for I am the Lord your power. God told you not to wrap no stone in your land to bow down. That's that what this Aaron time. Do. It's a great trial. Allah said this is a great trial. He says that he wants to see Where's God right now, brother? Where's God right now? Above God right now? the heavens So why are you bowing down to a stone? Listen what I'm about to say Allah said that he wants to see Who follows the Prophet Muhammad Who turns their head from Jerusalem Because apparently what's going on in Jerusalem Allah's like, let's turn our heads from Jerusalem Let's face the Kaaba He wants to see who's facing the Kaaba Not that we're worshiping